Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fuse to here. It's been a quite a long time, but we have news. Plenty of news. And starting with G Skill Triton Z5 RGB series, 32 gigs, basically 2 into 16 gigs. That's an DDR DDR5 8000. Well, quite fast, but also quite expensive. Because it's 529.99. Yeah, I mean it's quite a lot. Uh, but they also have a limit here, as you can see, limit two per customer. So Basically, you can't get more than uh, basically four dims, I guess, because two per two per customer, you know. So yeah, basically they're limited, but they're also expensive and also very fast. So yeah, G Skill just brought this kind of uh, crazy fast. It's basically the usual, you know, their design is the usual one. You know what? I kind of like this design because it's kind of you know neat. I would really like a black edition of that, really, but yeah, I mean, it's, it looks nice. It's not bad. It's it's, uh, it's good looking. It's RGB. It's 8,000 to year 5, and it's expensive as, as I don't want to mention it, but yeah, it's very expensive. So, yeah, I mean, I would not suggest buying this because it's, it's the price of a GPU right now, basically. Next up, we have a funny story here, and that is a scalper. Basically, this is, the, this is not the user that is the scalper. He just found, this user found out that this scalper here, basically this guy, uh, well, we don't know which guy that is, but he has a lot of RTX 4080s, and now he has no other choice but to sell them at MSRP, basically. So, as he quotes, selling for what I purchased it for directly from Zotac, trying to avoid paying for shipping back and just give someone an opportunity to buy it for MSRP, basically. Unopened, recipient in hand, and included top and RTX 4080. I just gonna keep this one. So, basically, the scalper, this scalper particularly, is dumb. Real dumb, because my question is, why are we scalping RTX 4080 or even any of RTX cards? Because nobody's gonna buy them from scalpers, because the stock is not dead, they're active. So what was he thinking? I have no idea, but he has paid the price, basically. But because, as you can see, he has no other choice but to sell them at MSRP. Literally no profit, rather a loss, basically, because he also paid the shipping price, you know. So yeah, he deserved it, I guess. But yeah, I mean, even if you're selling at an MSRP, RTX 4080 is not a good price in MSRP anyway. Because we already know, RTX 4090 is very appealing, 30% faster, and also a little bit expensive, like $1,600. You, you pay $400 more, you get the top end. If you don't want to pay that much money, well, you can just wait for the 4070, I guess. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just a waste of money, in general. And next up, we have a Steam Hardware and Software Survey, November 2022, and if you look into it, and NVIDIA GeForce uh, GTX 1650 is now the popular card among all. Basically, it beat the 1060 and now 1650 is coming at... I mean, it's not surprising because, you know, 1650 in this generation probably is the budget-friendly one. The most budget-friendly. We also got 2060 trailing behind, but still will take some time to defeat 1060. And we also got 3060 coming real quick. Because, you know, it's been like two years. So, yeah, I mean, they're coming up. They're, they're going to catch up, probably. The 3060s, in general, will gonna catch up, I believe. But, yeah, 1650 has become the, well, the budget-friendly card. And winning the Steam survey, uh, November 2020, basically. So, yeah, if you got a 1650, it's still kicking, I guess. And next up, we have Zad Wang, Twitter user. Showing this 8104, basically the RTX 4070 Ti die here. And if you look into it, basically, yeah, I mean, it's usual. Nothing to surprise about. But yeah, the die has been leaked right here, as you can see. And basically, it was meant to be the RTX 4080 12 gigs. But we already know that it's going to turn into a RTX 4070 Ti. So there it is. It's getting ready and probably will release soon, hopefully. I'm just hoping the price won't be the same. Yeah. Next up, we have something interesting. Sapphire Technology just released this, and that is the VaporX. Basically, the Vapor Chamber in their GPUs are coming back. They're gonna be uh, supported with Nitro, I believe. The the Sapphire uh, Nitro series, I believe. That's gonna be the 
one that will be using this vapor x basically the vapor cham chamber here and we already know what vapor chambers does so you know better cooling and you know inside there's a liquid then you can just go make it into vapor and then it's gonna cool yeah you know what that is but yeah they're bringing in vapor x back which is nice because better cooling you know and of course it's gonna be coming with nitro series i believe because it mentions it right here so we'll see how it performs because you know the vapor chamber is is a neat thing to have for cooling you know so we'll see next up we have nvidia confirming dlss 3 and dlss 2 games for december and if you look into it we have dlss 3 here and that is need for a speed unbound raw out now for dlss 3 you can just play the game and use dlss 3 i guess and benefit from it surely warhammer 40,000 dark tide got the dlss 3 and ray tracing at the same time and it's available right now portal probably the most interesting one here portal rtx got dlss 3 support and of course full ray tracing support it was a uh, you know they were like you know testing with it with the ray tracing and now they're like okay we're good let's bring in dlss 3 and full ray tracing so we're gonna have that jurassic world evolution coming with dlss 3 on december 8 and witcher 3 wall hunt very old game i have to say but got ray tracing and dlss 3 will be coming at december 14 so this is also very interesting that the witcher 3 is getting ray tracing i wonder how good that game will look with ray tracing i wonder i want to play that game right now i mean i have to wait for december 14 but i'm really hyped for ray tracing for witcher 3 because that game is already beautiful and now with ray tracing i wonder how it will look we also got DLSS 2 updates, Firefighting Simulator, well, coming at DLSS 2, Marvel's Midnight Suns, coming with Ray Tracing and DLSS 2 on December 2nd, Choo Choo Charles, isn't that the horror game? I believe that's the horror game, Choo Choo Charles, I don't know, I could be wrong, but anyway, DLSS 2 coming at December 19, and Blacktail launching 15th with DLSS 2, so yeah, there it is, DLSS 3 and DLSS 2 update for multiple games here for December, wait, they didn't add that game uh, what was that yeah callisto protocol they haven't added that yet interesting because that game is very visually good looking and it's already out i believe so yeah would love to see how that game performs but they didn't add it yet so yeah we have to wait or maybe that game is aimed sponsored right that makes sense all right and lastly we have amd ryzen 7000 getting a new look well, the packaging basically and if you look into it yeah that's the new look we're getting for the amd 7000 series and don't forget one thing they also have the price drop and if you look into it r5 7600x getting 248.9 which which we already covered and it still remains the same pricing which is nice because it's still a good deal only if you can find a cheaper ddr5 module only if you can otherwise it's not a good deal but only if you can find a DDR5 module, cheaper ones, then you can grab this one or even the rest of these because they're very cheap for now. So, I mean, I believe they're going to stay this kind of pricing for quite a long because I don't really see the point increasing in price of these processors because they're not selling well. I guess they're going to try to attract customers with this new look, I guess. But I, I mean, at, at the end of the day, pricing matters the most, right? yeah so yeah if you want to grab one you should grab one but remember ddr5 module you need to grab them as cheap as possible because otherwise your budget will go crazy high <laughs> remember that all right that is it for today hopefully you enjoyed what do you think about the pricing for the amd Ryzen 7000 do you think it's appealing and what do you think about the rtx 4080 price do you think that price should drop i mean we all do hopefully but will they because knowing NVIDIA, they're always playing the Monopoly, don't they? I mean, I guess it's the high time they have to drop the price, really.